Hello? <laughs> We're here. I thought I'd hop on a little earlier after the last time we had the debacle and we, we couldn't get going. So, um, all right. So we're, I'm a little early. So how's everybody doing? Look at everybody in the chat already. That's awesome. All right. I'm still just getting a little like kind of organized here. I hate when this looks like this. All right. Oh, that's a little better. Okay. Oh, it's been quite a busy day. I hope you guys had a great day. Hello, Aaron. I felt so much better the moment like the moon went into Pisces and got out of all that tense energy we had in the week. So I'm, I'm just so glad. So glad uh, that week is over with that energy. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's see. I have a bunch of different windows open here also. Let me just move myself over there. Just in case I have to go over there. Okay. 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 I am ready. It's the Scorpio birthday live. We're five minutes early. That's all right. How is everybody doing in the chat? I see Brenda's here. Hello, Brenda. Michelle's here. Uh, let's see who else I'm scanning down. Chaos gone away. I hope you're still here. Hello to you. Hello, Aaron. Shane. My friend Shane is here. Kimberly's here. Unknown is here. I love that unknown. That's very Scorpio, right? To have the name unknown. It's very, very Scorpio. Okay. All right. So NP, Natalie is here. Awesome. Yeah. Oh my God. You guys, I was so bummed two weeks ago when that whole debacle happened. I was like, I'm not that I'm not pumped tonight. I am pumped, but I was like really pumped two weeks ago, but you know, it all happens for a reason. So it's okay. 1111, <laughs> Natalie. I love it. Love it. You have that beautiful energy for your birthday. So happy birthday. Um, oh, Shane has that too. Happy, happy birthday. So let me know in the chat, you know, where you're at, what your snack is. Uh, if you're a Scorpio sun, Scorpio moon, Scorpio rising, Scorpio Venus. <laughs> let me know. Let me know what's going on. We have 28 people here. That's good. It's considering I'm, I am a little early. Hey, Erica, good to see you. So we have a Scorpio rising, Scorpio all the way for Natalie, Scorpio sun for Kimberly. Tomorrow, tom tomorrow, Tamara is Scorpio moon and Saturn. Yes, S. Holmes is crashing. That's okay. We Party crashers are welcome. Scorpio sun, Aaron, chaos is his dad's a Scorpio. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Well, awesome. Shane is Scorpio sun, Libra moon, and Scorpio rising. So good. We got a lot of Scorpio in the house. Oh, love, love Scorpio energy. All right. So I have quite a few piles here of cards in front of me that we're going to dive, dive into. I guess I'm still technically three minutes early, but it's okay. I have our celebratory cupcake. You can see over here also. That's my that's my little reward after I I work hard for y'all. I, I treat myself to a cupcake. Karen T, good to see you. Scorpio Sun and Rising. Double Scorpio, Gemini Moon, and Tower Year with Taurus Aries Sag husband. Oh, okay. Hey Nisha. I don't know if it's Nasha or Nisha. Good to see you. Hey Jeanette. Classic design boutique is here. <laughs> In the house. I love it. Tess, Pluto and Scorpio, generation. Yeah, that's a whole generational energy, Pluto and Scorpio. All right, I'm getting hot already with these. I bought these new lights and I love them. You can tell I'm like lit up a little bit more, but they generate a lot of heat. I'm already getting like excited and all like, like hot. <laughs> I gotta take off my slippers. All right, there we go. All right. That's not bad at all, Pluto and Scorpio. That's just a generational thing. That's all. Like my Pluto is not in, in Scorpio. <laughs> it's in a different generation. <laughs> Michelle dated a Scorpio. Okay. Hey, Wendy. Good to see you. It's me, Tammy B. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that. So yeah, Scorpios, you know, like weird things have been happening with like notifications going through, not going through, you know, so Definitely like check the channel. I've been, I've been really cranking out like a lot of content. I did your Scorpio uh, tea and tarot reading. 
that's up on the channel. So check that out. Um, if you haven't already, cause I, that was pretty fun. Um, she was, Ariel was here. You know how she is. She's in, she's out. <laughs> she was here. She's mad because she was sitting in the chair and then I, I, you know, got her out of the chair and she got all annoyed. So, hey, Ayana, good to see you. Ashley, good to see you. Karen T, happy birthday. 55 in a five year. That's some interesting numerology there. Hey, JD. Hey, Carolyn. Hey, Azara, good to see you. Love all these Scorpios. Scorpio energy. Ariel is an Aries with Mars and Taurus. <laughs> she is... She is a feisty one. Hey, Gayla. Good to see you. So, yeah. All right. What are we? We're at seven o'clock. All right. So I'm going to get started. Hey, Carolyn. Did I say hi to you already? No, I don't think so. Moon Scorpio. Yeah. Who has a moon in Scorpio here? That's what I would like to know. <laughs> My fellow moon and Scorpio people. That's a, that's a real interesting... It's a real interesting energy, Moon and Scorpio, let me tell you. Yes. Yes, Ariel definitely is a sassy cat, for sure. For sure. She might pop back in later. You never know. You know how she is. <laughs> Jeanette, Scorpio Moon. Yeah. Scorpio Moon Child. We are very, yes, we are, tomorrow. Absolutely. We're very dramatic. <laughs> Scorpio... Scorpio moon is very dramatic until we really learn how to, how to use our power. Yeah. Scorpio moon is like the crypt. We're like the vault. And that's the thing to like, we don't, we don't spill the beans. Like people, let me tell you, people tell Scorpio moons a lot of stuff and Scorpio moons, you know, it's like they will, you can't pry it out of them. Hey, Laura Jean. Hey, Volk. JD, it's not a curse. It's just a special kind of gift. <laughs> this is a special kind of gift. That's all. All right. All right. I got to do my little intro. I got to light my candle. But I'm going to pull one of these cards first, just because I'm feeling like I need to pull a card and I, I'm, I'm shuffling. So let's do it. Um, so this is the universe has your back cards, which I really like the artwork on these. Hey, Jasmine. Oh, I'm thank you so much. I'm glad you like the Ariel mug. <laughs> Her little face right on there. So cute. I know at the hug thing, I'm not down with the hug thing tomorrow myself. Like I'm not into that. <laughs> That's my Capricorn side. I'm like, you can tell me things, but keep it over there. You know? <laughs> ah. Yes. The 11 energy is real interesting. All right, let's pull a card. Let's pull a card. Let's get this show on the road. What do we got? <laughs> this is this is classic Scorpio. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was a cackle. That was that was such a cackle. But there is nothing sexier than my authentic truth. There you go. Sorry, the thing is reversed. It's this stupid webcam that doesn't work with this monitor. Sorry, y'all, but I'm going to read it again, and you'll understand why I was cackling. There is nothing sexier than my authentic truth. That is such a scorpionic energy to pull right now. So I love it. That sets our tone for the whole evening and the reading, <laughs> does it not? Yeah, it's a whole thing. It's not reversed. I have tried setting it in... Um, photo booth and the whole thing. The thing is the monitor I have is not a regular computer monitor. Um, it's crazy. So I don't know if you can read it, you can't read it, but <laughs> so I, it's what I can't fix it. All right. So it shows up normal for y'all. All right. For me, it's showing up reverse when I hold it up. So anyway, I love this. Look at this beautiful. And here's, we're approaching our big full moon here. So what a beautiful energy. There is nothing sexier than my authentic scorpionic truth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're gonna Scorpio's being sexy in the year ahead. For I mean, we're always sexy, but we're gonna be even more sexy, right? All right, let's see who else is here. Wendy, good to see you. Zainab, good to see you. Jasmine, good to see you. Sierra J, good to see you. I'm glad you made it. 
Uh, let's see, Aaron. Oh yeah, I said hi to Aaron. All right, let's get our cupcake. Let's get this cupcake going. All right, you got your snacks. You got your cupcake. You got everything, guys. Absolutely, Carolina or Carolina. I'm not sure which one. Yeah, this is a Scorpio party. Scorpio sun, moon, rising, and Venus. <laughs> and party crashers. We also we also have party crashers, so that's fine. Hey, Lucy. All right, let's let's do it. Let's get the pyromania. I got a new lighter. Ha 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 ha. Okay. It's the fire in me. Likes the pyromania. All right. Scorpios, let's concentrate now. We got a little too carried away with all the sexiness. Let's, let's concentrate on the birthday wish. All right, Scorpios. My wish for Scorpios for the year ahead is to, yes, live and love with their authentic, sexy truth, to manifest all of their heart's desires, and to manifest all of the desires of their expansive, creative heart space energy. And so it is, and so it may be, and so it may be forever. Scorpios, let's, uh, let's concentrate. Let's blow out your candle for your wish. Happy birthday, Scorpio. Better late than never. All right, that's for later. Just make sure Ariel doesn't lick the icing. Okay, so we're going to start with some Oracle cards. We already started with our sexy card, and we're going to dive in. I will probably clarify a few of these, but I'm going to try to hurry it along so that I can pull cards for as many people as I can. All right, so, and I'm not going to ask you to choose because that just slows down the whole process. I will um, choose for you which deck. And I will also call on two people. It's like baseball. We'll have one person that I'm pulling a card for and somebody else will be on deck. All right. So, and I will just call on people from um, the chat. Hey, Lori, good to see you. All right. So we'll first do for the collective. Hey, D, uh, angelic inspiration as well. Good to see you guys here. All right. So we'll do, we'll do that. And then I'll probably need a sip of my coffee and then we will get into the individual uh, card pulls. Okay. All right. Hey, Margaret. All right, I'm going to start with this deck. Let's uh, see what we got. All right, Scorpios. What else do we need to know for Scorpios? Year ahead energies. Scorpios. Big things are going to happen in 2022. I feel like this big, expansive, creative energy, like in your heart, like your heart is just like this door, this big door opening up. Lots of new and fresh energy coming in. All right, here we go. Count your blessings. Thank you, universe and angels, for the blessings in my life. All right, so lots of good blessings coming in for Scorpio. Let's clarify that. Wendy, what's your sun sign? Oh, Lori. Lori's in the Stella sphere. Lori's been enjoying the Stella sphere. Thank you for saying that, Lori. I've been enjoying the Stella sphere very much uh, with uh, with y'all in there. It's been it's been really fun to text with people. Uh, cancer. Okay. All right. Let's see what we need to know about these blessings. Mm, the temperance. So a positive change. And the judgment. <laughs> I told you guys. Doors opening. Doors opening. And you know what? The blessings are going to start right in Sagittarius season. You know, more new, more and exciting new blessings coming in. Uh, new life here with the judgment card. And of course, some sort of decision that you're going to be making about an important inspired change in your life that you have been contemplating for a while. And that change and that decision that you make, Scorpio, is going to bring in even more blessings to you that maybe you, you can't even really see or imagine yet. But it's like I, like I keep getting this feeling of this door opening. Um, so change is on its way big time here with this uh, with this temperance. And, and look, I, paid, I pulled two major arcana cards. So, you know, pretty cool, right? Yeah, Brenda calls this the deck of the scary women. I'm not really, I'm not really sure why, but but yeah, wow. So so I think this is imminent, really. I would say really in the next um the next two months, even with this decision. It could even be in the next two weeks. I mean, Sagittarius season is right around the corner. Um yeah, very interesting. So big change, big change. 
and one, like I said, that you have been patiently waiting for to make. But the timing hasn't been right for whatever reason. But now the time is right. So, and that's going to bring in a whole new situation that you're going to be very happy about. All right. Where do I want to go next? Which deck? I think I'm going to do this deck next. All right. Yes. All right. Hello, Marie. Good to see you. Brenda, <laughs> ferocious. That's a good word. All right, let's see. Now we're going to pull from the mermaids. I thought, you know, with the water sign, we do. I like this deck very much. It's the like 14 year old in me that really likes this deck. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what we have. The mermaids. We got some divine magic, Scorpio. Extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, what do we need to know about that? Some divine magic. Scorpio. That's that authentic sexiness. Mm. <laughs> All right, we are manifesting divine magic. Exciting. I love mermaids too. All right, so we got a six of pentacles. So something's coming back to balance. And a nine of pentacles. All right. I like to see those pentacles. I like to see that. All right. So what do we think about this here? Let me look at this again. Extra magical energy surrounds your situation. Expect miracles. All right. So we're, go we're going from a six of pentacles situation to a nine of pentacles situation. So, you know, maybe things have been a little out of balance or maybe they've just been sort of out of balance with the finances. This could also be energy levels. Um, but we're manifesting, this is what this card is about, a miracle with the finances in the year ahead. Um, this could be within the next nine months because that would bring us almost to Virgo season, which is what this energy is for me. So we got some increase going on with the finances. And the key to this with the manifestation is that it really is up to you because the nine of pentacles is the independent person. You know, through their own efforts, their own, um, you know, willpower, they manifest this abundance. So this is also with this energy, right? This divine magic. It's not so much about, this is what I feel. Um, not so much about thinking about other people, what they want, trying to um, find the middle way, like the, what's the word I want here? Like the middle ground or something. This is really, I think about pushing out your own personal power, relying on your own personal power a little bit more, not being afraid to kind of really be unique and go for it with your own divine magic. And that's what's going to bring the prosperity. So you don't have to play it safe. That's kind of a little what this is feeling like to me. All right. So push it out, push out the boat, push out your um, unique, sexy sauce <laughs> Okay, out in the, out in the universe. Ah. All right, so miraculous finances. That's what we want. What we want going on. Okay. All right. Let's see. All right, we did that deck. All right. Now. All right, let's do this one real fast. All right. I think I'm not in the frame very well here. Okay. All right, let's see what else we have. Scorpios, what do we need to know? This is a moon card. Let's get some timings. First quarter moon in Pisces. Honor your feelings. Okay, so interesting. So we're just, you know, we can't, I can't sit here with the calendar and find the next first quarter moon in Pisces, but uh, we'll, let's, we'll just use the, the metaphor of Pisces season. There may be something going on that we need to make sure we're tuning in with our own feelings about or to do with a Pisces person. All right. So let's see. Honor your feelings, Scorpio. I don't know. Ariel was here and then she ran away because she got mad at me because <laughs> I took her seat. She was all cozy in the chair that I'm sitting in and she got mad. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, look, the Pisces. See, here it is. Here's the Page of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. All right, so there could be something going on with finances. All right, and some sort of, um, it's 
especially finances, maybe to do with some sort of personal talents, artistry, creative work. This could be some sort of good news about finances as well. This page of cups with this queen of pentacles. Um, so honor your feelings. Allow yourself to feel the joy of whatever this is that manifests. You know how, how Scorpio is sometimes like, like, <laughs> which is like, maybe this is my Capricorn talking. I don't know. But it's like, you know, we get something good happens and then like we're on to the next thing already. It's like we, we don't really allow ourselves sometimes to really stew in the good. We stew in the negative sometimes. We obsess, especially Scorpio moons, we obsess over like <laughs> the negative, but we don't always obsess over the good stuff. So yeah, we definitely emo for sure. So it's like, like crank up the Smiths, you know, and like the cure and we're in the emo mode. So, you know, so I think this is something here, honor it's, you know, honor the good feelings as well. Let yourself feel that beautiful creative energy and success. I mean, coupled with this queen of pentacles, there could just be some fabulous. This is also manifestation. The queen of pentacles, all she does is has to really focus in on what she desires and you know, poof, a pentacle appears in her lap. So this is really good. Honor your feelings, reward yourself, acknowledge all of your efforts. All right. I think that's really celebrate. Exactly. Wendy, I think that's going to be really important. And we got a time marker here. We got Pis Pisces came right out again. So definitely end of February into March could be something really good going on with the pentacles. All right. Let's see what else we have. Got some good pentacle energy popping tonight. I like to see that. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Crank up the bad company. I love it. Ah. Yes. Acknowledging all your hard work. That's, that's the thing, right? Kimberly, like acknowledging your feelings and feeling proud of yourself and being a survivor, you know? And it, oh, look at this full moon in Capricorn. Capricorn. All right. The end of a tough cycle approaches. All right. Full moon in Capricorn is not until July. Um, but uh, we'll just say Capricorn season. How about that? <laughs> Capricorn season. End of a tough cycle is approaching. All right. We are approaching Capricorn season. All right. Let's see what we have for that. Yeah, four swords. We've been praying and wishing and hoping that this would end. And we've been in that limbo. But here's Pisces again. Here's the hangman. Pisces season is going to be important for y'all, right? This has come up now how many times? So, I mean, we're asking, of course, about this tough cycle. But we have been waiting for this change. This is the four swords. There may have been something in your life that you have felt that you were put in a timeout about that you, no matter, look, both of these cards are about being stuck uh, and, and, you know, feeling like off on the sidelines in some regard here with this four of swords, feeling like hidden away. So some aspect of your life, you could have felt like, like time had stopped, right? Like there was just nothing you could do about it. Also because the major arcana here, it was like out of your hands. So that cycle of something that has been intractable, you could not shift it no matter how hard you tried. It just wasn't the right time. That is ending, 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 ending. All right. Very good. I like to see that. All right. Excellent. And let's, uh, let's end with this one real quick. Pull one more card and then we'll get to the personal readings. All right. I love the Smiths. I don't listen to them really too much anymore. That was more an 80s thing for me, 80s and 90s. But all right, let's see what else. Scorpio. You know, Morrissey has a Scorpio moon, which makes a lot of sense when you, <laughs> when you listen to his music. All right. Oh, two stuck, stuck together. All right, what do we have? You're not for everyone, Scorpio. You're not for everyone. Embrace your weirdness and face your true north. Embrace that authentic, sexy self. All right. I don't think we need to clarify that. We get that message. All right. And wait. It is not yet time. Things are being woven. Yes. Okay. So I love this image, right? Of this girl. Looks like she's ready. The soul is ready to incarnate and come to earth, right? I oh, God, I love this card so much. This is a very Scorpio card, also. 
Um, so th something is being, you know, f fixed behind the scenes, so to speak. The universe is arranging it. Uh, that could do with that temperance, like I said, Sagittarius season. Uh, with the judgment card, there may be a big change then. Also, the Capricorn energy we just looked at. So we're right at the cusp of it. You know, you've been in this situation awaiting, as we know. So this is this is imminent. All right. So just hang in there. We had the four swords before, so probably in about a month, right? Four weeks. So it's getting ready to pop. It's getting ready to pop. <laughs> Yes, it's Carolina. I'm really sorry. This is just the stupid setup I have. It's very annoying with the backwards thing. So I apologize, but I cannot fix it because of the monitor I have. I don't have a regular computer. I have a separate monitor. It's a long story, but that is why. All right, guys, that's our, our collective reading. I love this. This is exciting. Things are getting ready to pop wide open for y'all. Excellent, beautiful energies. All right, let me just rearrange my cards here. We got divine magic. We got some finances coming in. We have blessings. Very, very nice. We have, you're not for everybody, nor should you be. And that's kind of the point I was making before about that six of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. The more you embrace your weirdness, this is what the card says, the more you're going to embrace the finances. So don't try to fit in and, and be that six of pentacles status quo, like, a, you know, like everybody else. All right. So let your, let your divine weirdness show through. Okay. Get myself organized. The desk here. Kimberly's a Scorpio. Good. I'm glad everybody's a Scorpio. Yes. All right. All right. Let me take a sip of coffee. While I'm sipping uh, my coffee, if y'all could hit the like button, that would be really help out the channel. So if you could do that, that would be awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. Which one? The deck that I'm with the with the haunted women or whatever Brenda calls them, the ferocious women. <laughs> Yeah. Is that the one? Okay. Oh, that's so good. Oh, so tomorrow on the channel, I will be uploading uh, the Pisces T and Tara reading and also the Cancer T and Tara reading. So if you have Pisces or Cancer in your chart, uh, look forward to that uh, for tomorrow. Oh, the one that says embrace your weirdness. That's a new deck that just came out. Is this the new one? No. Um, oh, my goodness. This I'm really bad at remembering names. It's by the same lady who did the work your light card. So if you look up Rebecca Campbell, uh, it's not the work your light deck. It's the other one. I don't know if that's helpful, but. Um, <laughs> that's, that's, I can't, I don't remember names. That's, that's always been a problem for me. I remember colors and images and shapes. I'm very visual, but don't ask me names. Okay. All right. So you're not for everybody, but that's okay. All right. So let's pull some cards for everybody. Um, I got, oh, I got a lot of decks in front of me. Okay, Tamara, I'm going to pull a card for you first. And I'm going to pull from the mermaids since you like the mermaids. Um, and then, um, Brenda, I'm going to pull a card for you after that. All right. And I'm just going to, again, I'll call on people. So I'll tell you I'm pulling for so-and-so and so-and-so -and -so is on deck. And then I'll do the next two. All right. So please, um, you know, I'm only one person. I'll try to go as fast as I can. I'll try to hit as many people as I can. Um, and as long as my energy also allows. Okay. So, all right. And I'm just going to choose a deck based on what I'm kind of uh, feeling. All right. So this is for um, Tamara. Susie Q, we already filmed the, um, the collective reading, but it'll be on the channel. So you can go back and watch the cards I, I pulled for everybody. 
All right, so here we go. Tomorrow, this is for you. And the same thing, this will be on the channel. So if you have to go run to the bathroom or you miss when I do your reading, you'll just have to go back later and look at it. All right, I can't stop because like I said, I want to try to get to as many people as I can. All right, okay. So tomorrow, <laughs> and sometimes I forget who's next. So just again, be patient with me. All right, here we go. Yeah, I'm just choosing the deck based on my feelings and my vibe. All right. Up oh, tomorrow, we have two, two stuck together for you. All right, we have self-forgiveness. Let go of old guilt and remember that you're God's perfect child. Love that. Beautiful message for you. And also the music for manifesting. So this is to manifest rapidly. Think of your desire while you chant, hum, sing, or play music. All right. So that's going to be those two things are important for you for the year ahead. So time for some forgiveness. And it's time to get your manifestation magic going tomorrow. Very nice. OK, we are not Laura Jean. I am not taking questions from the crowd. <laughs> OK, I am. I am pulling cards for birthday celebration. OK, um, Brenda. Let's see. Brenda's next. What card deck do I want for Brenda? Hmm. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do this one. Okay. This is for Brenda. Oh, thank you, Susie Q. I appreciate you. Oh, JC. Good to see you. I'm glad you like the Capricorn tea leaves. I had fun with that. Wait till you see the Pisces one. Oh my gosh. I did that today because the moon was in Pisces today. <gasps> I'm getting chills just talking about the Pisces reading. Wait till you see that. Oh my God. If you have Pisces in your chart, my Venus in Pisces was very excited by that reading. All right, Brenda, this is for you. Show the world the real you, Brenda. <laughs> I don't know. Are, are we ready for that? <laughs> Are we ready for that, Brenda? I don't know. This is the full moon in Aquarius, which is in Leo season. All right. So July, August, I don't know the exact date off the top of my, my head. Yeah, no flashing, Brenda. <laughs> but what this, you know, because I do, I look at everything as metaphors, right? So uh, Brenda, I've never met her in person, but she seems like one of the most authentic people I've ever met. So I don't think she's hiding her real self. But what I would say to this is that some new aspect of herself, the world may finally really see in an exciting new way. So maybe something she hasn't shared yet with the world. So that's what I would say. I would say to that energy. So, okay. All right. Next. Let's see. Um, Susie Q, I'll pull a card for you. And um, <laughs> Brenda's flashing, right? <laughs> they are not ready. <laughs> All right, Susie Q, I'm going to pull a card for you. And oh, Carolina, thank you so much. Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. And Kimberly Cato, I will pull a card for you next. All right, so I'm doing Susie Q next. Susie Q and then Kimberly Cato. <laughs> I don't know how wise I am. <laughs> I'm a Weisenheimer, as my mother used to call me. Okay. All right, Susie Q, what do we got for you? Susie Q. Ooh, signs from heaven. Ooh, signs from heaven, Susie Q. Thank you, heaven, for sending me reminders of your presence. And look at all those beautiful white feathers floating down there. So there may be a lot of communication from spirit in the year ahead, connecting with people who've passed. Thank you, Brenda. People who have passed on the other side. You may feel your guides around you. You may be getting a lot of signs and symbols over the next year. You may be connecting with your spirit guides in a new way. Um, there may be a new spirit guide you're made aware of. If you already feel like you're really connected to them, there may be, you know, because we can have more than one. So um very interesting. Thank you, heaven, for sending me reminders of your presence. Signs from heaven for you, Susie Q. All right. No, Laura Jean, we are not answering questions. I am pulling cards as the Scorpio birthday celebration. All right, Kimberly is next. 
Kimberly Cato. Yeah, so anytime Susie Q, like a white feather, especially since it was in that deck, shows up, it's like, you know, like, alert, alert. <laughs> JC's got no question. JC's our honorary uh, Capricorn showing up here. Yeah, Ariel went back on the sofa. She has been such a sofa cat today. She has not moved her butt. All right. Kimberly. Kimberly. Oh, these cards are sticking together. The Cosmic Heart. You have the Cosmic Heart. Look at how beautiful that card is. The Cosmic Heart. Devotion, potency. Make your life a moving prayer. Wow. I love that. Make your life a moving prayer. And also the Courageous Peony. The Courageous Peony which is multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen. Wow. So let yourself be seen and, you know, interesting, make your life a moving prayer. I don't know exactly. I'd have to like analyze what I feel like that means, but, um, cause I, I've only just got this deck, so I've not played too much with it yet, but, um, there's definitely, I think something new that you're going to be bringing into the world, which is the moving prayer. Um, and, they will require you stepping out of a comfort zone to do it. That's why we have the courageous peony and let yourself be seen with this. And if you get nervous, just, you know, just focus on, <laughs> just focus on, uh, focus on service and also focus on prayer. You got this, whatever this is for you, you got this in the year ahead. All right. Brand new, brand new, beautiful, creative energy going on there. Okay. Um, yeah, definitely. Peony. <laughs> well, I'm saying it correctly. Yes. Yes. Live, live with God, live in the ground. But also, I guess Aisha, that for me too, is like really using your God given gifts and talents as well. Like I said, I, this is a new deck for me. I'd have to sit and think about this a little bit, but, um, yeah, you're right on with that. Right. Cause we are given these gifts. Not everybody has the same gifts. You know, there's a reason why, you know, you have these gifts. I have these gifts. So it's it's different. And our energy and infusing our energy with our gifts, it, it's a whole unique package. Nobody can replicate you and your energy, right? Which we got in the in the general reading, like the weirdness, right? <laughs> your unique, your uniqueness. So new talents, put them and put in them out there, sharing them. All right, let's see. All right, next. All right, Shane, my friend, I'm going to pull a card for you. Let's see what we have. <laughs> Give me all your gifts. That's very Capricorn. Oh, okay. <laughs> it is like a fingerprint, right, CN? Absolutely. Yes. All right. Uh, Shane, I'm going to pull a card for you. And Carolina, Carolina, I'll pull a card for you next. I hope you're still here. All right. So, Shane, this is for you. Let's see what we have. Shane. Oh, you got music for manifesting also. I'm going to do it again only because, I mean, I shuffled, but let's do it again. Okay. Shane, let yourself receive. Allow others to give you loving care. Receive without guilt or apologies. So often Capricorn, I'm a cat. Now I got Capricorn on the brain. Often, well, cat. this applies to Cappies also, but often Scorpio is much better at doing the giving than the receiving. So this is this is an important uh, spiritual growth opportunity for the year ahead, Shane. <laughs> let yourself receive. All right, let yourself receive all the blessings, right, that we had in the general, in the general reading. No, JC, you're cool. I mean, you know, I got Capricorn too, so it's like, you know. <laughs> yes, didn't we did talk about this recently, didn't we? I'll receive all those blessings. All right, Carolina, Carolina, I'm going to pull for you next. I'm going to pull this, pull this deck for you. <clears throat> Let's see what we have. Thank you all for hitting that like button. I appreciate it. I, I just saw that that count went up. Thank you. All right, Carolina, Carolina. Here we go. Look at this beautiful card for you. Gorgeous. The more energy and intention I bring to my faith, 
the more fearless and free I am. So I'll read that one more time. The more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. Wow, that is such a beautiful message for you. And that looks like a hummingbird, right? So that is about throat chakra. All right, standing in your truth, speaking your truth, living your truth, and doing it without any sort of fear and doing it with energy and intention. Beautiful. That's a beautiful card. Okay. All right. Let's see. Next. Um, <clears throat> Azara, I'm going to pull a card for you next. Azara. And Carolyn Reed, I'm going to pull for you after um, Azara. Okay. So let me do, let's see, Azara. Yeah, I'm feeling this one. Okay. All right. Zara, I'm pulling this. This card is for you. And then Carolyn, I'm going to pull for you next. All right. Oh, you love the birds too. That's awesome that you got. So that hummingbird may also be your spiritual uh, totem for the year ahead as well, Carolina. So that's something to think about. All right. Zara, let me see what I have for you. Okay, first quarter moon in Taurus. We can't look that up. That take too long. We have release control. Okay, that's that's a tough one for Scorpios. That's <laughs> not easy for a Scorpio. I'm gonna pull a card for that. JC, <laughs> that's because you live in New York. That's why your totem is a pigeon. All right. All right, Zara, let's see. Releasing control. What do we have? <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, so we have an eight of swords. So, all right. You know, these are readings for the year ahead, and I never tell anybody what to do because that's not my job. My job is to get people to think and make decisions for themselves. But what I would say with this spiritual message for the year ahead, Azara, is to allow your mind to open up to new possibilities um, and to experiment with uh, some adventure, especially mental adventure, like maybe thinking outside the box, creating in a new way, communicating in a new way, something like that, um, that, yeah, yeah, that may be a little scary, but that you don't always have to know how it's going to turn out, right, with this release control energy. That's what I'm feeling, all right? So you don't have to know how something's going to turn out. That's what's keeping you stuck, right? Because it's the eight of swords. Allow yourself, again, that metaphor I keep getting, that image of the door opening in the heart for Scorpios for the year ahead. Allow yourself to just start experimenting with letting go of control a little bit and stepping into some new possibilities and just seeing where they take you. All right. So that's that's your mission. <laughs> Should you choose to accept it for your year ahead? All right. Carolyn Reed, I'm going to pull for you next. Let's see. I'm going to pull a mermaid card for you. Yes. Just stay open. Exactly. To whatever. Don't you don't have to figure it out ahead of time. <laughs> Trust. Exactly. Exactly. Whether you want to or not. Okay. All right. Carolyn Reed, this is for you. I hope you're still here. Hey, Patty. Good to see you. All right. I'm glad to hear that, Zara. All right. Carolyn Reed, you got pay attention. <laughs> pay attention. All right. Notice repetitious signs and your inner guidance as this can yield valuable information. All right. So you're going to be getting a lot of signs and symbols. Carolyn Reed, this is for you. All right. So pay attention to what the universe is trying to tell you, your surroundings, the synchronicities, all the energies around you. OK, especially the repetitious ones and your inner guidance and how those two are interacting, because there's important information for your year ahead for, you know, your evolution in the year ahead based on those energies. OK. All right, let's see. JD, I'm going to pull for you next. And um, Zainab. Zainab, I think I said your name correctly. So JD, let's let's pull for you. What deck do I want for JD? Let's do this one. Okay, JD and then Zainab. I'm going to pull for you. Okay. 
JD, what do we got? <laughs> That's funny, JC. All right, JD, this is for you. Spiritual abundance. Look at that beautiful card. Love it. All right. Thank you, angels, for blessing me with infinite abundance. That's coming, of course, first from spirit. So it's inspired abundance. It's your inspired actions, your inspired feelings. And that's what creates abundance in all forms. So that's an important thing to remember in the year ahead is to focus on the spiritual abundance first, all the blessings, all the joy, all the energy you're feeling. And that will call in more of all sorts of abundance for you as well in the year ahead. Wow. Okay. And I love, look how pretty that card is. I love that. All right. All right, Zainab, let me see. Yeah, I want this one for you. Okay. All right, Zainab, let's see what we have for you, my dear. All right. Let's see. Hey, Wiggy, good to see you. All right, Zainab. Oh, two are sticking together. Oh, it's happening with this deck because it's brand new. All right, you're getting the same thing as somebody else got. Let me put those aside. Hold on. It's not correct because it's sticking. That's what happens when cards are new. All right, Zainab. All right, here we go. Ooh, activated earth. Look at that beautiful. See, there's your doorway. So I keep feeling the doorway imagery. Power places, ley lines, that's L-E-Y, ley lines, you know, those power lines that are, you know, you can Google that, that are in the earth. Um, and trust where you're led. Wow. So the universe is going to be opening some interesting doors for you, Zainab, in the year ahead, taking you to some important power places. So finding a places where you feel really spiritually in tune and connected with the earth, where you really feel your energy empowered is going to be important for your year ahead. And also, I love this last bit here, trust where you're led. So, you know, if there, if there definitely is a sign, a situation in the universe that's trying to get you to go a certain way, or if there's a detour and you're like, why am I being detoured? But there's a reason, you know, because the universe actually wants you to go over here. So that's an important, yeah, more trust, right, JC? So that's an important thing. But it's, I think there's something here about you finding some sort of important spiritual um, power place for yourself in the year ahead as well. All right. So, wow. Cool. All right. Let me take a sip of coffee. It does look like a portal. Yeah, for sure. Ariel's back on the sofa. I know she's been very weird today. I don't know. She's got like a, <laughs> a bug up her butt or something. I don't know. Even when I did. Um, okay. So that really, that really related Zainab. When I was doing the readings earlier today for the channel, like she, she only came in like once and usually she's, she's always in here and you know, can't get her out of the way. And, but <laughs> she's a cat. What are you going to do? I know exactly. Right, MJ. Okay. All right. Let's get back to business here. Now that I have a sip of coffee. All right. Was I doing one after Zainab? Did I say somebody after that? I can't remember. <laughs> I got very excited about the Zainab card. Okay. She was here at the very, very beginning, Tamara. And then she, she got mad and she left. <laughs> She's like... <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Let's see what we have next. I hope I, uh, did I call on somebody after Zainab? I don't know. No, Ariel is an Aries. So. All right, Aaron, I'm going to pull a card for you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so either, Zainab. Thank you for keeping me on track. I told you this is what happens because I get to, I get very excited and I get caught up in the reading and I'm like channeling a message and then I forget everything that happens after that. So 
All right. All right. So let me, let me, I'm doing a card for Aaron. Maybe I just better do one at a time. <laughs> I forget. Okay. All right, Aaron, what do we got for you? Oh, change in transition. Look at that Scorpio Eagle on that guy's, or Phoenix on that guy's uh, tattoo. All right. Archangel Azrael. Thank you, Azrael, for leading me safely through this change. All right. Well, we got to pull a tarot real quick for that one for Aaron. Because that's, uh, that's a, yeah. Well, you know what I didn't know about the name Ariel is that it actually means lion-hearted. I did not know that when I named her Ariel. And actually, when I met her uh, for the first time, it, like or, the name just went right into my ear. Like I knew it instantly. And then I looked up the name later and I was like, oh my God, like that makes so much sense. So, hey, Michelle, thank you. Okay. Ah, the Queen of Wands. Look at this. So, Aaron, this is about your personal empowerment, right? The Queen of Wands here. So, this could, of course, be happening. This change in transition could be happening in Sagittarius season, like we looked at with the collective energies a few minutes ago. Uh, Aries season, of course, April, and also Leo season, August. So this is really about stepping into some serious, look at her, as Brenda would say, the scary women, stepping into some serious <laughs> creative power, uh, maybe starting your own business, uh, doing something a little daring, Queen of Wands, a uh, little outside the box, just using a lot of your creative energy and your creative power. So yeah, and uh, that's what this, I feel like this change in transition is going to be mostly about for you um passion could be some sort also with the queen of wands passionate new beginning maybe something going on with uh your love life that's possible also so wow very powerful okay you're welcome <laughs> well you know how i think they created that deck this deck wendy is i think they took pictures from pexels if you know that website pexels p-e-x-e-l-s and they did like this Photoshop pastiche, like of actual people, and then this like fantasy imagery. So it does kind of look a little bizarre in some <laughs> some of them, but I don't know. I just I like that deck. I like it especially around like full moons because of the all the big moons on the on the cards. Okay. Yes, you're welcome, Lammy girl. Thank you for sh for sharing that. There's a, we got a lot of very very positive, powerful Scorpio energy in this in this little gathering right now. I love it. I know, right? Yeah, I get you, Wendy, with that. That's why it's it's interesting, right? Because not every deck is for every person. There's some decks that other people really love, and I'm like, Ugh, I don't like that deck. So, you know, different strokes for different folks. It's okay. <laughs> okay. So, all right. Sierra J, my friend, let me pull a card for you. Let's see. Yeah, I'm feeling this one. All right, Sierra, I'm going to pull this one up from you for you. Okay. Sierra, this is for you, Sierra J. Okay. Sierra J. Oh, look at how beautiful this card is. When I'm in alignment with the love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. When I'm in alignment with the alignment, I can talk tonight. When I'm in alignment with the love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. So there's your message for your year ahead. That's a good mantra for the year ahead, Sierra J. All right. Very good message there. Seeing things through eyes of love. Okay. Yeah, that's, I like that, right? It's pretty cool. All right. Next one. Hey, Wiggy, I'm going to pull a card for you next. Wiggy, it's Wiggy time. <laughs> Wiggy, I love that name. Wiggy, let's pull a card for you. Wiggy, Wiggy, playtime, Wiggy, for your year ahead, playtime. 
The dolphins know the importance of playing as joy creates miracles and manifestation. That is so very true. So Scorpios, well, especially Wiggy, <laughs> it's time to allow yourself a little downtime. Yeah, keep your wig on. No, take your wig off. Let yourself, let yourself just fly free. Wig or no wig. All right. And just enjoy, schedule in some playtime. All right. And uh you know, it's not always about intense focus, which we know Scorpios have the, I mean, amazing ability to laser focus and and just, you know, manifest. But also another ro route to manifestation is about playing and joy. That is a key component. So have some fun, schedule in some regular creative energy, creative time for you, Wiggy. Maybe also since it's this deck with the dolphins, maybe by water. Dolphins could also be uh, your spirit animal for the year ahead as well. All right. So keep that in mind. It's all about play with the dolphins. Okay. All right. <laughs> what are you saying there, Ayana? You making fun of me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Awesome. All right. Next. All right. Hey, Anessa. Good to see you. All right. Lammy girl. I'm going to pull for you next. Let's see. What do I, what do I want for Lammy girl? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to pull this deck. All right. Lammy girl. This is for you. Lammy girl. I hope you're still there. Lammy girl is OMG. <laughs> OMG. I know, Ayana. I'm just playing. I'm just messing. Ayana, you're always here. And I love that. You put all these beautiful emojis in the chat. It's very lovely. All right. Lammy girl. Let's see. First quarter moon in Leo. Like, we can't look that up. All right. Be humble. Oh, be humble. That's not, I mean, that's kind of, well, we don't want that. Let's play. Let's pull another one. <laughs> Lammy girl would be humble. What the heck kind of message is that? All right, let's pull another one. Be humble. <laughs> I don't know that song, Wendy. I'm old. I'm out of the pop culture loop. I don't know what that, <laughs> what that song is. <sighs> All right. All right, let me see. I got. I need one card. All right, this deck is not cooperating, so it's telling me I got to pull a different card for you, Lammy girl, from a different deck. Let me see. I don't know who that is. I know Adam Levine. That's about it. Don't ask me anything about contemporary music. <laughs> okay. Lammy girl. Oh, look what you got. It's, you can't see the glare here. Look at these lights. I choose love no matter what. I choose love no matter what. There's your mantra, Lammy girl, for the year ahead. So choose love no matter what. I love it. Beautiful. Beautiful energies there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You guys are so funny. Yeah, get and stay in alignment. Exactly. The love boat. I love the love. I used to watch that all the time when I was a kid. Okay. All right. Ayana, I'm going to pull a card for you next. And then Classic Design Boutique. You're after that. All right. So Ayana, what deck? Let's see. Let's, let's pull from here for you. All right. Ayana, this is for you. And then uh, Classic Design. <laughs> I'll probably have like flashbacks to my childhood if I watch Love Boat now. I wasn't into Fantasy Island though. I didn't like that show. Okay. All right, Ayana, this is for you. All right, we have Weight of the World. All right, what is this message here? This girl's floating in the ocean. Let's see. Boundaries, let it go. It's not yours to carry. 
Okay. So look at here. She's, I know that song, let it go, let it go. All right. So you have to let it go. You got something, you're carrying something, Ayana. You're down in the Caribbean, time to go into the ocean, cleanse that energy off of you, let it go. It's not yours. And then keep those boundaries. Hold on. I got to do a housekeeping. Okay. Hold on. Did that. All right. Uh, so Ayana, you get what I'm saying here with this? Yes, Isaac. I like, yeah, he was awesome. All right. So boundaries, first of all, those, the cleansing, cause see the girls in the ocean here. So you got to first like get in that salt water, cleanse everything. Ayana, get this burden, this weight you're carrying, get it, get it out of your energy field. All right. And then enforce those boundaries, enforce those boundaries. All right. Okay. All right. Jeanette. Jeanette, let's pull for you. Classic design boutique. Okay. <laughs> I know, right? That is my dream. I'm telling you, it's it's my my dream I've been holding on to throughout this whole like crazy situation in the world. I'm just like, I swear I'm going to do a Stella Wild world tour. Maybe it may not happen till 2023, but I swear I'm going to do it. And I want to be able to meet up with y'all in different places of the world. That, that is my dream. So we'll, we shall see. All right. Classic design boutique. You also got self-forgiveness. Okay. Let go of old guilt and remember that you're God's perfect child. All right, I'm going to pull one more since that was a repeat. I really should put the repeats out to the side. Portland, Maine. I have been to Portland, Maine a long time ago. Very nice town. Good lobster. Central Florida. I have not been to Florida yet. I know. I want to get like a big, like, <laughs> like a big... What are those big, what are they called? Those big camper things? Like that'd be like, so I can bring Ariel, right? And we drive around. It'd be fun. <laughs> sure, JC. <laughs> All right, Jeanette, let's pull one more for you. All right. A helpful person. Helpful person. Someone wants to help you. Think of who that might be and initiate contact. Or the universe may bring you a lot of helpful people in the year ahead. So there's new people coming in, more than one, a couple different people. All right. So very nice, Jeanette. Help you with something. Yeah, it'd be really fun. Okay. <laughs> I think it'd be a riot. Okay, so tomorrow, let's see. Well, the moon was void yesterday after a certain time. I forget what time. That could have been why tomorrow the moon was void. Yes, just don't, you know. Yeah. Sometimes when the moon is void, it's 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 hard to get a good read on energies. I try not to film videos when the moon is void either. So, okay, a partridge family. <laughs> oh, we're going way back in the time machine now. Okay, the way Mr. Mr. Peabody's way back machine. We're going way back. All right, CN, since you just watched The Partridge Family, I'm going to pull a card for you next. All right, so let's see. Okay, all right, CN, this is for you. Yeah, I love Canada's beautiful. I've been, I have been to Canada, not for a long time, though. All right. CN, this is for you. I'm like I'm getting like Partridge Family songs in my head right now. <laughs> okay. CN, here we go. You got your Scorpio. Full moon in Scorpio or new moon in Scorpio. Work through your fears. All right, we just had the new moon in Scorpio. So this is a powerful message that right now, because we just had it, it's time to work through your fears, CN, okay? So anything, let's pull, let's pull a quick tarot for that, All right? Because November, what was that? November 4th, we just had that. 
yeah, look at this, five of swords. So there is some irritations, there's some fear, there's some overthinking, analysis, paralysis, sometimes with the five of swords, fear of doing the wrong thing, in quotes, the wrong thing, and somebody like, you know, criticizing you for it. This could also be like internal critic energy. So being fearful of doing something because there's that, you know, critical voice in your head, oh, you can't do it, you know, leftover from the past, that type of shenanigans. So it's a mental game. That's the thing, right? So you can do it. You can do it. You got to work through it, though. If you ignore it, see, this is the key. You have to work through it. If you just ignore it or say like, oh, yeah, no, it doesn't bother me, whatever, it's going to linger. So it is really about facing whatever this is. Don't hide away in a corner or away from it, but face it squarely, work through it, and then it will be gone. Okay. All right. All right. I need a sip of coffee. All right. Yeah. I don't know what else is going on in the chat. I missed whatever was going on with CN. <laughs> so. Okay. Did somebody say that they were like at 2 a.m. or something watching this? Who said that? Leave that in the chat again. Somebody said it was like 2 a.m. where they were. Let me know who that is. I'll pull, pull a card for you. Okay. All right, Gala, I'm going to pull a card for you. Let's pull a card for you really fast. Yeah, somebody was in Germany. I saw that, but then I, I don't know where it went. No, we're not taking questions. We're pulling cards for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Risings, and Venuses. All right. All right. Gala, I'm pulling a card for you. Oh, I love this card. Look at this. Beautiful. When I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. Okay. When I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. Okay. So there is your message, Gala. Okay, so lean on certainty and faith, and that will help you change your mind about what you're seeing. So, you know, questioning and asking yourself, well, through what lens am I seeing the world? Am I seeing the world through a pessimistic lens or a more optimistic, hopeful and accepting lens? All right. So interesting message. I know I love that. I love the art on that deck. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what happened to the, um, to that person. They went somewhere. <laughs> they probably went to bed. If they, if they had any sense, they would have gone to bed. Okay. All right. Let's see what we have here. Yeah. If they had, if they had any good sense. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Back up. Okay, Nisha, Nesha, I don't know if I'm saying your name correctly. Nisha J, are you still here? I'm going to pull a card for you. Okay, Nisha J, I hope you're still here. I'm going to pull a card for you. Nisha, this is for you. <laughs> Oh, it's the top. Okay, she'll be next. All right, Nisha, this is for Nisha. Thank you for keeping me straight. It's a, it's quite a challenge. All right, Nisha, here we go. Lost lands. This is for you, Nisha J. I hope you're still watching. Okay, we have lost lands, soul memories, and gifts. You've done this before. Ooh, so you're tapping into some sort of past life talent and capability in the year ahead. So pay attention, Nisha, to what you're drawn to in the year ahead, your likes, like if you want to try something new or so, you know, all of a sudden you start uh, wanting to learn to speak uh, Japanese or, you know, whatever, like something going on with that. Um, you may have lived there before. You may have a special uh, 
talent, like, or you want to like start to learn how to do woodworking, let's say maybe you did that in a past life, it comes real natural to you. So you're going to be rediscovering some sort of deep thing inside of yourself that you already know how to do very, very well for many past lifetimes. But it's this lifetime is just hasn't hasn't been expressed yet. So wow, very, very interesting. Okay. Um, let's see, let's use this deck. All right. Detales, where where would that person go? Okay. Detales 91. I hope we're saying the name correctly. Okay. Detales 91. Okay. This is for Detales, who's still awake, still awake, watching YouTube. I'm very honored that you're, you stayed awake for this. Okay. Bye, Lammy girl. You're very welcome. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we have for you. Okay, to Tales, you have to watch your thoughts. All right, so it's important to only think about what you desire, not about what you fear. So that's an important message for spiritual growth in the year ahead. Well, one person didn't behave. I had to boot him out, but that's fine. <laughs> I did that so seamlessly, you guys didn't even notice. All right, so we have, watch your thoughts, all right, Detales? So think about what you desire. Always focus on what you want, right? Because what you focus on expands and grows. You want to focus on the positive and what you want to create, not what you don't want to create in your life, okay? Okay, very, very nice. All right. All right, let's see who is next. Let me see. Yeah, my Scorpio moon has no no tolerance, let me tell you, for shenanigans. None whatsoever. Okay. Let's see. I'm I'm going back up in the chat. Okay, La Jaconde, you're still here as well, I believe, right? I'm going to pull a card for you. JC, you're very, you're very subdued tonight. <laughs> very, very subdued. Okay. La Jacon, this is for you. All right, let's pull one for you. La Jaconde. Which I believe was the name for the Mona Lisa, correct? <clears throat> La Joconde. Oh, we had two stuck together. La Joconde. La Joconde. All right, I want one, please, from this deck. Thank you. Deep Cellular Healing. Ooh, very nice. Look at that beautiful card. Arcturus Energy. Physical and Emotional Healing. So focusing on healing at a very deep, deep cellular level, Jaconde. So really going there and bringing up like all sorts of toxic stuff, junk, letting it go on many deep, deep levels. So not just physical, but also emotional, a big purge, a big cleansing, a big healing big spa treatment for your soul as Tamara <laughs> Tamara was saying <laughs> yes love it Tamara yes de rien la jaconde de rien all right we are all shenanigans yes <laughs> i love that word shenanigans okay um da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Okay, Anessa, I'm going to pull a card. I'm going to pull a card for you next, Anessa. This is for Anessa. Okay. <sighs> yeah, JC, I don't know. I I think you have some interesting <laughs> interesting things going on. <laughs> okay, Anessa, this is for you. See what we have for you. Time to move on, Anessa. It's time to move on. Gotta move on. 
It's time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come in. That's often hard for Scorpio. We hold on to stuff for dear life. Stuff and people, all sorts of stuff. So, yep. <laughs> That's funny. So, Anessa, time to move on. Let it go. I'm going to start singing again, like I was singing before. Let go of the old and worn out so that the new com can come in. That's what I'm telling you. I keep feeling this open door for Scorpio, but in the heart, particularly. So, it's like... If you want to really expand your world in the year ahead in all ways, it's it absolutely is time to let go of a bunch of stuff. Absolutely. Total eight of cups, eight of cups moment. Yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. Even if you want the change, it can still be, it can still be challenging. It's just life, but you know, then you get to the other side of it. So, yeah, exactly. Scorpio, that's that's the Scorpio. Wherever you have Scorpio in your chart, it is about reinventing yourself. It is about going through something often rather, rather challenging because it is about shedding those layers of inauthentic, inauthentic stuff to rise like the phoenix born anew and that those flames of the phoenix burn off all the old and all the old identities and all the old stuff. And so this is this is the Scorpio energy. So wherever you have it in your in your chart. So it can be on physical level, emotional, mental, sometimes all of them at once. I mean, but you know, that's why everybody's jealous of Scorpio. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Well, I think that's it's true. Because what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. It's very true. Very true. And Scorpios are freaking strong. Yes. And there is, there is kind of that. Yeah. Sometimes we, you know, especially Scorpio moons, they, they can sometimes put themselves through the ringer just so that they can get that buzz from rising from the ashes. I speak from experience. <laughs> so, you know, we are hot, right? Scorpios. All right. All right. Let's pull, let's pull another, some more cards. All right. VV, VV. She just had a birthday. I'm assuming it's a she. All right, Vivi, let's pull a card for you. That's right. We got the sexy show going on tonight. All the Scorpio sexy people here. That's right. <laughs> all right. I know. Don't you wish we were all like in this like cool? I mean, we are like in a cool hangout place, but wouldn't it be cool if we were all like together in a hangout place? Like everybody like shooting the breeze and like telling these funny stories. You know, JC doing shots. Like I guess I could just see it. Like, <laughs> uh... Okay. Who am I pulling for again? I got distracted. Oh, Vivi, that's right. <laughs> I start getting on a tangent. All right, Vivi. Vivi, move your body. Move your body. Talk about some sexy energy. Move your body, Vivi. Thank you, angels, for motivating me to move my body and energy. So now we also look at, remember, we look at these things, Vivi, also as metaphors. So this can also be because Scorpio is a fixed energy, right? So Scorpio often has a tendency to get into ruts. It's just fixed, fixed sign energy. So this can also be about moving yourself out of certain habitual ways of doing things, trying some new things, uh, moving forward in a new and exciting way. It can be like getting out of a rut energy also. You know, yes, shaking it <laughs> until you make it, you know, whatever. Um, but... But also it's moving your energy. So if you've been feeling like you've been kind of in this, this holding pattern or very set in your ways in some way, it is time to shake it up, right? Shake it up, VB. <laughs> Remember those exercise things they had, those like shaking sticks or whatever they were? Remember that like a couple years ago, it was like this big thing and you had to like shake it and dance like <laughs> That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling. 
All right. Yeah, those shake weight things. I never bought that, but it was kind of funny. Uh, yeah, I'm like more in, the, in chocolate shakes. I agree. CN. Yeah. So V, that's good. So you're you're feeling that energy. And remember these cards that we're pulling in these birthday lives, re birthday live readings for everybody. It really is kind of like an energetic theme for your year ahead. All right. So how do people get out of ruts? Share your tips in the comments. JC would like to know. How do people get out of ruts? You got to try something new. You got to try something new. Go someplace different. Try something new. All right. It is. I, I like Scorpio energy too. It gets a bad rap from people, but I'm telling you, it's because they're jealous. They don't know. They don't, they don't know. Okay. Liz Contreras, come on down. You are the next contestant with the mermaid cards. All right. Liz Contreras, I'm pulling a card for you. Brenda, I don't know what's going on up there in Ohio, but <laughs> thank you, Aaron. I appreciate you too. All right, Liz Contreras, you are still here. All right, I'm going to pull a card for you. Liz Contreras. Liz, Liz Contreras. Break free, Liz. It's time to break free. Here you go. Break free. Try different ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn. All right, JC, this card is for you also. Okay, so in answer to your question. So try new things in the year ahead, Liz, all right, to grow and learn. Not that you have to be good at it right away or anything, but just to kind of shake up the energy, change the energy, and just grow. That's what we're here to do anyway, right? We're here to grow and learn and experience. You don't have to be perfect at something. It's just to, you know, have that spiritual um, experience. Okay. All right. Let's see who else we're going. Wendy Sancho, did I pull a card for you or not? I can't remember. I've been pulling a lot of cards. Wendy Sancho, you're welcome, Liz. Let me know, Wendy Sancho. Okay, I didn't pull one for you. All right, I'm going to pull one for you next. Wendy Sancho. Okay. <laughs> All right. Wendy. Wendy Sancho. This is for you. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Chinoa. I hope I said your name correctly. I'll pull for you next. Let me pull. For, I'm pulling for Wendy right now. Let me concentrate. All right. Wendy. Yeah, that one wants to come. All right. Here we go. All right, Wendy, here's your card. Look at this beautiful energy. This is the Seven Star Sisters. Birthing creations, tapestry of life and expression. So you're going to be birthing creations. Look at that beautiful energy. In the year ahead, Wendy. All right, and expression. So personal self-expression. Notice that she's th these energies, they're dancing. So maybe also in a group context as well. So maybe important to get yourself in some sort of um, some sort of creative group or something like that. Maybe a writing group, a dance group, or whatever kind of creative self-expression that you're in, a band, whatever. Um, but it's about, I think, being with other people doing this, this creative work. And those people are going to help you birth some sort of new creations. It's a very beautiful card. Okay, it doesn't have to be babies. It's just, you know, it's, I think it's creative projects. <laughs> That's what I think it is. Okay, I don't think it's, I don't think it's like children, literally. Okay, good night, Detales. Have a good night. Oh, you're very, you're very welcome. Okay. Uh, Chinoa, there we are. Okay, it's Chinoa's birthday today. Everybody wish her a happy birthday. And let's see, what deck do I want? Let's use this one. Yeah, let's do this one. Okay. All right, Chanoa, let's see what we have for you. Happy birthday to Chanoa. Uh, 
are. Mm. Oh, you got self-employment. Okay, let's see what this says. You're born entrepreneur and your business is surrounded by magical opportunities. I don't know if you have your own business. I have no idea. But this is also perhaps a, a message that you might think about starting one in the year ahead, even if it's just something little on the side that you get going for yourself. But um, that, because remember, these are energetic themes for the year ahead. So this may be something that's coming up for you. If you have your, you have a business already, your business is surrounded by magical opportunities. So time to assert your beautiful energy. We had that nine of coins, right? In the general Scorpio reading. So, which was about being independent. So Chinoa, think about that for your year ahead and maybe start something for yourself if you haven't already done so. All right. Okay. Erica Lindy. Yes, I will pull a card for you. So you know when I do these birthday lives, I often see a lot of names I recognize from when y'all leave comments on the monthly videos. <laughs> that's that's also how I base who I call on. So uh, who I read for in in the birthday lives. So I I see names I recognize. So Okay, Erica, this is for you. And I've definitely seen your name in the comments on videos. All right, Erica. Erica. Ooh, look at this beautiful whale and the orca. Oh, so pretty. All right, we have whale and orca elders. Share your song, frequency of sound, and diving deep. Wow. This is a very spiritual message. Very, very beautiful. So share your song, Erica. Dive deep into yourself and bring up some jewels from your depths. All right. And share them with the world. So if it's creative stuff, spiritual stuff, whatever it might be. But it's also whale and orca elders. So you might want to look at those as your spirit guides, also your spirit animals for the year ahead. Uh, Google that, read up on them um, and see what they uh, what messages they have for you. And that may be also giving you additional insight into your year ahead energies. OK. All right. I need a sip of coffee. What, what, we're getting kind of raunchy in the chat if Urban Dictionary is being mentioned. <laughs> ah, ah, that's funny. I like all kinds of coffee. I'm like a coffee hound. I, I have so many different kinds. The one I'm drinking right now is, I think, Cameron's, I want to say, breakfast blend. Um I've been trying to cut back on my caffeine. So I've also been drinking Pete's decaf, which I do like P E E T S Pete's decaf. Um, so, you know, but I, I like the pumpkin spice Starbucks. I like the Kahlua coffee. So, you know, so I have all sorts of kinds. You did, I have so many, <laughs> so many coffees here. Oh my God. It's crazy. Okay. You're welcome. Susie Q. Angelic inspiration. I will pull a card for you before you put your child to bed. How about that? Let's pull one here for you. Yes, pea berry is very good. I have had pea berry. And from like the beans, pea berry beans. I've had like, I think it was like Tanzanian, like pea berry. It was very good. Where did I get that coffee from? It was really good. Okay. All right, who am I doing now? Uh, angelic inspiration. All right. All right, angelic, this flipped right over as I was shuff shuffling. You are protected, angelic inspiration. You have Archangel Michael. Thank you, Michael, for surrounding me with your protective light. So if you feel in the year ahead that things are getting a little crazy and you need uh, you need some extra special help or whatever, Call on Archangel Michael. So this is, again, another important uh, spirit guide for you for the year ahead. Um, 
It's also possible as well uh, that somebody named Michael or or a, a Michael name, like with a street or a company or a, you know, a person, whatever, could be important for you as well in the year ahead. Could be somebody, somebody coming in. But this is a great card. Lots of divine protection. But you, you know, call. You got to call on it though. That's the thing. You got to say, "Yo, I need your help. Can you deal with this?" <laughs> all right. So, all right. One of my best friends is named Michael. He's he's a hoot. He's a hoot. So, okay. Let's see who else is here. Yeah, I am drinking caffeine right now. I tried to not have too much caffeine today. I had two cups of decaf in the morning, but then I had two cups of the tea in the afternoon because I did two tea leaf readings this afternoon. And now I'm having caffeine again. So I don't know. I'll probably have to take like a sleeping pill. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to go to sleep. Ah, so your son's middle name is Michael. Interesting. So there could be something uh, going on, going on with uh, your son. Um, all right. So just keep that. But I think it's more about you, honestly. So, okay. All right. Noemi. Noemi? Noemi? Noemi. I don't know if I said your name right. Noemi Greg. I will pull a card for you. Well, that happened tomorrow, almost. The first time I did the tea leaf readings, I did like six of them one day and I, I couldn't sleep that whole night. So, it was, so I'm like, I got to pace myself. That's why I told you all, like, just be patient with me. I, I really do drink the tea and I can only drink so much at one, one time. So Yeah, that Kahlua coffee is so good. That Timothy's Kahlua coffee. Oh my God, so good. All right. No Emmy. No Emmy. All right. This deck is this deck is not cooperating tonight. All right. That deck is being very recalcitrant. Okay, Noemi. Baby steps, Noemi. Baby steps. Here you are. See, there's that doorway again. I keep picking up with the Scorpios. There's the doorway. Action. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. Follow your intuition before it makes sense, Noemi. Baby steps. Just keep moving forward. Beautiful. Love it. I love that message. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. That is so, so important for Scorpios anyway. But sometimes I think Scorpios do second guess themselves and they like to know how it's going to turn out before they go, like we said earlier. So it's important to just go and not worry about, you know, how you think it's going to turn out or not. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. Oh, I haven't used this deck in the last few minutes. Okay. Yeah, Stella, Stella knows. I got that Scorpio moon. I know. I know. I know, Scorpio. All right. Okay, Constantina is still here. I'm going to pull a card for you, Constantina. Constantina. Constantina, this is for you. Huh? I want one card, please. No, I want one. Just one. Constantina. Constantina, here we go. Constantina, you are the dreamer of your dream. This is, this is a good, important message, right? So it's like, to me, this is saying, like, are you stepping up and claiming your own dream? Is your dream influenced by someone else? Is it really yours? Are you going for it? Are you claiming it? All of those questions, Constantina, right? Because you are the dreamer of your dream. So what are you dreaming about? Where is your energy going? What is it focused in on? So uh, this is this is a very interesting card. 
it's deep. If you stop and like really tune in and think about this, it's more than just, I am the dreamer of my dream. That sounds like, okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> but it's like, you know, Scorpio, we read in between lines. It's a way a lot deeper than that. So what is your dream? Are you claiming it? And it's also about becoming your dream, embodying your dream, right? It's about becoming your dream. Constantina. Okay. Yeah, it's very deep. Okay. So super life is actually called gazelle. I hope I said that correctly. Okay. All right. Gazelle, I'm going to pull a card for you. Let's see. Oh, I'm not going to take that one. All right. Super life gazelle. Let's see what we have for you. I saw David Byrne once on the streets of Manhattan. He was very tall. Okay. Super life gazelle. Let's see what we have for you. And he was wheeling a bicycle. He was he had like this big black bicycle and he was walking it across a crosswalk in the East Village. All right. Fascinating, right? Celebrity sightings in New York. Those were always fun. All right. Super Life Gazelle. Clear your vibes. Clear your vibes, Super Life. Archangel Metatron. Thank you, Metatron, for clearing my energy field. Okay. That's interesting. I don't know too much about Metatron, but... Um, clear your vibe. So you're going to, you know, ask Metatron to help you with that. This also is suggesting to me, be careful again, mental energy, what you're focusing on. It is also about really regularly grounding, clearing out your energy with sage oils, you know, taking lots of uh, showers, salt baths, like, you know, all of that kind of stuff to just really clear any energy or energetic attachments that, you know, may be going on. Okay, so um, clear your vibes. And I feel like this is something to do now, actually. Okay, super life. Um, because this big full moon in Taurus is coming up, right? Uh, Friday the 19th. So I think this is an important thing to do now. And like, just get ready, right? Just like, like clear it all out for that new birth of life that's coming with that temperance and the judgment card that we looked at in the general Scorpio energy reading. So yeah, I, you know, just, I, there's something I think that's gotta go. I don't want to say any more about that, but that I'm really, I am feeling that very strongly. Okay. Yes. Good to do that. So the 19th is your birthday. See, so this is, this would be very good super life. I always make suggestions, right? Maybe to really do some sort of birthday ceremony, cleansing, new life, beginning for yourself type energy thing. That was good vocabulary. Uh, on your birthday, make your own ceremony for cleansing these vibes, cleansing this stuff. And then also not just the cleansing, but what do you want to call in next? right? So once you let the things go, what do you want to call in next? So, all right. Is Shane leaving? Okay. I don't know if I, I missed that somehow. All right. So I hope that makes sense. Bye Shane. Okay. Bye. Oh yeah. There's the message. Bye Shane. Happy birthday. Okay. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Bye Shane. Bye. Okay. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. Who's still here? We still have 69 people here. Is there anybody here that I didn't pull a card for yet? I'm sure there is, but I'm I can't remember. Okay, Jeanette, I pulled two cards for you earlier. Oh, Shelly B, I was going to pull a card for you. Okay, Shelly B, I don't think I pulled a card for you yet. Let me pull a card for you, Shelly B. Let's see what we have. 
Jelly Bean. Oh, you got to see the talking heads. That's pretty cool. All right, Shelly B, this is for you. Shelly B. Shelly B. Ooh, waves of prosperity, Shelly B. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Waves of prosperity. New abundance and exciting opportunities wash over you now. Very nice. Gorgeous. But what are you going to do to go after those opportunities? How are you going to call in that abundance? How is it going to feel? Imagine how it will feel when those opportunities and abundance wash over you. Right? Beautiful. <laughs> All right. So claim that for yourself. Focus on that. Imagine before you go to sleep, Shelly B, this is this is a suggestion. Before you go to sleep at night, imagine that you see an ocean of money flowing toward you. All right, fall asleep with that image. All right, since you got the waves of prosperity card and see the money flowing in on those beautiful, those beautiful waves. Okay, all right. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. I'm going to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, definitely make it rain. Okay. S. Oh, S. Holmes, would you like a card? Let me know in the chat. Okay. Love 888 Spirit. I'm going to pull a card for you next. Love 888 Spirit. Love 888 Spirit. This is for you. Okay. There you go. There's your Leo. Confidence is your key to success. The new moon in Leo, which of course will not happen until Leo season. So... Now I can't remember their name. Love 888 Spirit. There you go. <laughs> Love 888 Spirit. So be bold, be confident, go out there and let everybody see what you got going on with this Leo. Now, I don't know if uh, Scorpio is your rising, but if it's your rising sign, this is your 10th house of career. So there could be something important, uh, you know about that in terms of being more confident if you want more success in your career and putting yourself out there a little bit more. JC, have a good night. Thank you for showing up. Okay, so Leo, all right, so love 888 spirits. So you're also, you're Leo moon. All right, so here's your Leo. So Leo moons really need that positive feedback. So, but sometimes if, so if you're a Scorpio sun, Sometimes it's hard to step into the spotlight. Sometimes for some Scorpios. Um, that's not natural for Scorpio, really. I mean, they can do it, but it's, you know, Scorpio is about, you know, the depths and the shadows and all that kind of stuff. All right. So you have it rising. All right. So that is your 10th house. So you need to, uh, you know, your moon in the 10th house really needs that validation. But your Scorpio rising might, you know, be a little uh, reticent to really allow that, allow that to happen. So that's going to be important. Confidence is the key to success is to allow that Leo moon to shine a little bit more in your career. So again, Scorpio as a rising sign, they can be very inscrutable, kind of like Capricorn. It can be very like, they don't show what's going on. And the Leo moon wants to show, wants to express and wants that positive feedback. So, but then the Scorpio is like, I don't know about that. So you see what I'm saying? Like there's something there where your, your success in the year ahead is going to be letting that Leo shine a little bit more. And yeah, it may feel a little uncomfortable because you may not be used to it, but that is an area of growth for yourself, spiritual growth. So Okay. I know you're not a Scorpio, but I'm going to pull a card for you because you're here and you're very supportive, always in the comments. So if you want a card, let me know, Michelle. If you don't, that's fine too. Okay. Um, 
Okay, so Wendy, you might relate to that kind of energy as well. And of course, that's just in general. You have to look at somebody's chart to really get all the um, you know, nuances, but but that is uh that is in general. Okay. All right. Yeah, it did not work, Shelly B. I don't we don't know what happened. I tried three times to get that uh to work two weeks ago with the reading and it Every time I tried with the camera and turned it on, it kept buffering, buffering, buffering. So after three times, I gave up. I'm like, forget it. The universe is telling us is we're not supposed to have it tonight. So I rescheduled it for tonight. That's what happened. So, you know, I, I you know, I don't push the river. If that's what's going on, then I listen. I'm like, all right, wasn't supposed to do it that night. Okay. I need another sip of coffee. It was, it was crazy. I don't know what, I have no idea, no clue. I mean, we know that the night before there was that big solar flare, the EMP was like, you know, craziness. Maybe it was that I have, I mean, I have really fast internet. I pay through the nose to have fast internet because I need it for all the YouTube videos I upload. So I don't think it was my internet, but you know, thank you Tamara. I appreciate you. But I mean, it could have been, I don't, I don't know. It was weird. Totally. Ne that's never happened any other time I've tried to do a live. So who knows? Who knows? Okay. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Okay. So S. Holmes, I will pull a, let's pull a card for you. Thank you, Tamara. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome, Jeanette. Bye, Jeanette. Bye, Classic Design. Okay. All right. This is for S. Holmes. I'm going to pull a little mermaid for her. Let's see what we have. Yeah. And I felt so bad, but I mean, I could, there wasn't anything I could do about it. I was, you know, I had my cake. I had every, I was all ready. I was pumped. And things work out the way they're supposed to work out. What are you going to do? Plus I was getting annoyed. So that's like, I didn't want my annoyance energy to color the reading either, but then it didn't work anyway after three times. So, you know, all right, let's pull. All right. <laughs> oh, you got a soulmate relationship. Very interesting. New romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Michelle, what's going on in your world? Uh, doesn't always have to be with a person. Could be with a new uh, pet in your life. <laughs> I mean, I feel like Ariel and I are soulmates. So that's possible. That's possible. Oh, I was getting annoyed, CN. Oh, you're definitely getting annoyed. So very, I love this card. Isn't this sweet? Look at the two dolphins together. It's so gorgeous. So, so this could also be some sort of beautiful new friendship coming into your life as well. Um, all right. So some sort of new important relationship, I think, for you in the year ahead. All right. We'll just pretend you're a Scorpio. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was, it definitely was weird. Definitely, definitely was very strange. I don't know. I'm pretty, I'm basically a pretty chill person, but I definitely can get annoyed. That is, that is for sure. <laughs> I got, I got powerful energies in my chart and they can get very annoyed. All right. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, what are you going to do? I'm not going to like force something that I learned a long time ago. You do not force things. You just don't, you don't do it. You listen, listen to the signs and the symbols. And if you have to wait, you wait. <laughs> <sighs> okay. All right. NP, have I pulled a card for you? I don't remember. I don't think I did. NP, let me know. Let me know. Yes, it's very true. Yeah, I mean, anybody can get annoyed. This is...
Okay, NP, let me know. I don't think I pulled a card for you. That's very Aquarian, loving lemon Oreos. <laughs> that's, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm really feeling that that's very Aquarian. All right, NP, I'm going to pull a card for you. <laughs> NP, this is for you, NP. Let's see what we have. All right, NP. All right, NP, what do we have? Oh, we have study and learning. Study and learning. That looks like Gwen Stefani. <laughs> study and learning, NP. With Gwen Stefani. Thank you, angels, for allowing me to see that every day is a learning day. Oh, so you got some spiritual lessons coming for you in the year ahead. There could be something, uh, there, this could be something new that you might be learning in the year ahead, studying. Doesn't have to be like formal study, but just something new you might really get into in the year ahead. And in fact, it may be important to do that in the year ahead as well. So reading a little bit more really immersing yourself in some sort of hobby or, uh, you know, just, I feel like this is something more hobby, like more for personal growth. That's what I'm feeling, not for work or anything like that, but just something you're really into that and really making the time for it. That's what I'm feeling, you know, like just saying, all right, I, even if I only do it two hours a week, I'm going to allow myself to read these books or do this craft or whatever it is, even if it's just two hours a week, um, finding that time, making it a priority. Um, all right. So very nice. Allow yourself that time to like mentally explore some new things in the year ahead. Okay. All right. So yes, well, we will, <laughs> we will try. That's why I said, that's why I said, Michelle, that it could be, it could be with a, with a, with an animal. It doesn't have to be with a person. It could be with a, a new friend or, you know, whatever. Okay. All right. But yeah, lemon Oreos. I didn't even know that they made those. Okay. All right. Bye SVP. Sleep well. Okay. Well, that's because you're a Taurus, Brenda. So, you know. Yes, thank you, Zainab, for being here. I appreciate you. Yeah, you're welcome, Pamela. Okay, let's pull. Let's pull another card. Okay. No, I don't do messages like that, Stardust C. But I will pull a card for you for your year ahead. Okay. All right, Stardust C. This is for you. Let's see what we have. I will wrap it up in a little bit, guys, because it's almost we're almost at the two hour mark. So you're welcome, NP. All right. This is for Stardust C. That is a beautiful name for your YouTube moniker. All right. Stardust C. Here you go. What do we have here? Saggy energy. Full moon and Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. All right. So this is not coming until, of course, Gemini season. So I don't know the exact date next year, but um, around that time. So end of May, June time period. I think it's in early June, the full moon. Um, so there is something to look at the bigger picture about in your life. Um, and again, you know, sometimes because as a fixed energy, Scorpios can get fixated. Any of the fixed signs can. They can get like this tunnel vision. So it is important for you to look at the bigger picture about some sort of target, especially maybe about finances, because Sagittarius, of course, is if we look at it as Scorpio rising, this is the second house of money and values. So whatever sort of goal target you're trying to hit and achieve, uh, especially with those areas, finances or whatever, um, you need to see past the blinders that you may have on about how to achieve that goal. All right. So I hope that makes sense. All right. Star, that was for Stardust to see. Okay. Yeah. I hope that we can. I hope that we can have the Stellathon. <laughs> we can have a Stellathon by your birthday, Michelle. That would be, that would be lovely. I would enjoy that. I've already been thinking about the Stellathon. I'm like, 
wouldn't it be that'll be really fun i'm just we'll just be on here like all day chit-chatting pulling cards getting up for snacks you know it'll be really fun no this is for scorpios this is for scorpio yeah so so if you're looking going to be looking for a new job next year start us see what i would say with that energy that we just pulled is really look outside your comfort zone and and for things that that seem really kind of unexpected and that maybe you wouldn't even think you would like or want those may actually be the things that could be good for you all right so again that sagittarius energy is about that exploration and having a really really open open mind so think about that i don't know brenda it's 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 YouTube. I really don't know. It's uh, it's a journey. That's all I'm going to say. It's a journey. We're all on a journey. I'm on a journey somehow to climb that mountain to get to 100K. And it's 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 taken all my Capricorn patience to not lose my you know what over it. So whatever. You're welcome, Shelly B. All right. We got a few, couple more minutes. Um, Nishta. Nishta, I, I hope I said your name correctly. Nishta Shah, I hope you're still here. I'm going to pull a card for you. Your birthday is coming in four days. Nishta, this is for you. Nishta. Okay, Nishta, here's your message. Take time to breathe. Thank you, angels. I breathe with ease knowing you're here. All right. So regular downtime, relaxation, Nishta in the year ahead, spending time by water. Also, look at that expansion. Again, opening up the heart chakra like I keep feeling with the, the Scorpio energy. Um, so take time to just relax as much as you can in the year ahead. But most of all, to like decompress from whatever worries or things that are going on with you and really spending for any water sign but but obviously for scorpios especially any time you can spend by water really is very restorative so but also remember to maybe do some bre new breathing exercises something like that um might be helpful for you too nishta okay so take time to breathe in the year ahead. I'm not taking questions, Stardust. See, I already pulled a card for you. Um, all right, go to girl. I'll pull a card for you. Let's pull one for you. And Pamela, you've been hanging out. I'll pull one for you next too. All right. All right. So go to girl. Let's let's get one for you. Go to girl. Go to girl. Go to girl. What do we have for you? We have your star family. Ooh, star family. You're part of a team of souls. Call in support. Wow. I love this card for you. So you're going to be meeting. You're going to meet meeting. I think it's possible if you believe in these things, you're going to be meeting your star family that may be on another galaxy. You may be really tuning in with that energy but also your star family on the earth here, your like-minded soul tribe that you, uh, you know, has the same energetic frequency when you incarnate it. So call and support. You're going to be meeting those, some more of those people in the year ahead. So some real kindred spirits, kindred souls go to girl. Um, but you also may start connecting, especially in your dreams or any guided meditations you do with your star family on other galaxies. That is also very possible. All right, if you believe in that. Some people do. I mean, it depends. I don't tell anybody what to believe or not to believe. But from that energy, that is possible also. Okay, all right, Pamela, let's pull, let's pull a card for you. Okay. All right, Pamela, I'm pulling a card for you. Pamela, this is for Pamela Road Knight. Birthday coming up. Pamela. All right, Pamela. Let's pull a card for you. Ooh, you got the alchemy. Love it. Alchemy. 
You have the Midas touch right now, Pamela. And every project you begin turns to gold. Ooh, I love it. Okay. So you know what to do with this energy then. Use the energy in the year ahead. Get those projects going. You got the Midas touch. So whatever you've been really wanting to do, get going with it. And alchemy is all about change, right? It's about, it's about your creative energy infused with the energies of the universe and making exciting new things happen. So you got it. You got the Midas touch. Any project turns to gold. So get on it. Okay. Let's see. Who was next? There was someone. Where did my thing go? Okay. So I got go to girl, Pamela. Okay. Angie JC, this card is for you. Angie JC. All right. Let's see what we have for Angie JC. I can't believe the cat didn't come back in. She must really be mad at me. <laughs> come back in. Okay. All right. Angie JC. Angie JC. Oh, thank you, Nishna. Share the video with your friends. That would help me get to a million subscribers. <laughs> okay. Angie JC, this is for you. Ooh, beautiful. Let's see what we have. In any moment, I can surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer, contemplation, and stillness. Wow, what a beautiful mantra for your year ahead. So you can surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer, contemplation, and stillness. So really tuning, thank you, Nishtha. So really tuning in to that quiet, still center of yourself Angie JC, that has all that love and all that power and really feeling all of that in the whole center of your being so that you can bring it forth into the world and share it and share all those beautiful creations that come from that energy. So surrendering to that powerful presence of love that you have in your heart to create beautiful things in your life. Beautiful things. Okay. Thank you, Pamela. All right, let's see. We're going back up there. Okay, let's see. All right. Okay, Joanna Verena. Joanna Verena, I hope you're still here. I'm going to pull a card for you. Joanna Verena. Oh, thank you, Pamela. I appreciate you guys. Okay. I mean, you can tomorrow. You know, my whole philosophy with all of that is, it, it, you know, it depends on what you resonate with. And also, like I always say, it's about using the energies. And since they're general readings, it may not always apply to everybody equally or just certain parts may. So if you have a sag stellium and, and you know what house it's in, obviously, because you know you're speaking the language of astrology, then watch the Sag videos, but really apply it to that particular house of your chart, right? So if if it's like the Sag Celliums in your fourth house, then really look at everything through the lens of home, family, roots, what nourishes you and what feeds you and your foundation in life and see how the energies interact with your experience. So, you know, it's really a creative process of you also interacting with the energies as I present them. Oh, thank you, Nishtha. I appreciate that. Okay. All right, now I forgot who I'm pulling cards for. See, I get, I get talking and I'm like, oh my God, what am, what am I doing now? Okay, where did it go? There the chat got fast and I, oh, Joanna. Okay. Joanna Verena, this is for you. Joanna Verena. Joanna Verena, thank you for reminding me. I'm like, I know I knew I said your name. And then the chat started going fast. Okay. No, you're fine. You're fine tomorrow. All right. Joanna Verena, consult an expert. Consult an expert. 
More information is needed. Contact someone with expertise in this area. Okay. So there could be, you know, something coming up in the year ahead. Don't be afraid to ask for help. You know how it is, Scorpios. We're like these stoics, like, <laughs> we can do, we can do anything. We don't ask anybody for anything. We are super like, ah. So it may be time you have to consult an expert for your business, maybe for, uh, you know, working on a change in your well-being of some sort. So don't be afraid to do that. And I think this card is also saying that you'll find the right person also in the year ahead. Um, because, you know, Scorpio does not suffer fools gladly, right? And, and Scorpios, we see through all the BS, right? So when you consult an expert and somebody's trying to give you a bunch of flannel and shenanigans, you're like, no. And that, then that kind of reinforces the Scorpionic, oh, I don't need to consult an expert, right? So I, th I think you're going to find somebody who will pass your standards and your psychic radar as somebody who actually knows their shit. All right. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's after dark now. We can say the S-H-I-T word. Okay, So you get what I'm saying here, Joanna. Okay. And again, these are energies for the year ahead. This may not be happening at this moment but at some point in the year. So, okay. <laughs> oh, that's the mother, right? I'm mothering you all right now, Nishta. <laughs> Thank you, the Empress. It's beautiful. It's a very loving, creative, nurturing energy. It's a very, she's very giving, the Empress. So, okay. So you, you got what I'm saying, Joanna. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see. I well, All of a sudden we have more people in the chat. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'll pull a few more cards. All right. Luna Bella. Luna Bella. Yeah. It's a double-edged sword, right? Ahmad. It's, it's, I think, I hope I said your name correctly, right? Because Scorpio doesn't like to ask for help, but sometimes that's really what Scorpio needs the most, but trying to get Scorpio some help. Oh my good Lord. Right. It's, it's, you know, sometimes Scorpio would rather die than ask for help, honestly, literally, figuratively. And then yeah, exactly. And the very thing you want, you don't ask for. Right. So this is like the double edged Scorpio sword thing going on. While independence is very admirable. Sometimes the very thing that Scorpio is craving, as Ahmad is saying, is like the the love and the understanding and extend and somebody who really gets gets you, you know, but then, but then Scorpio doesn't always extend themselves and then other people don't know where they stand. It's, it's a very combo. We could spend all night discussing that. It's very complicated. Scorpio is complicated. It's not easy. It's really not an easy energy, but it's, it's deep. It's interesting. It's, uh, it's, you know, that's why I like it. I mean, it's, uh, I know. Right? Well, people are not mind readers. I mean, that's the thing, though. Scorpio is a mind reader. We know, you know, we walk into any room. We know exactly what the heck is going on. Nobody has to say a word. We know. Oh, those two just had a fight with each other. Those two are secretly hooking up. This is what's going on over here. Nobody even said anything. And we know. Right. But we don't like other people to be able to do that to us. So we kind of put up this thing and, you know. So it is a big, it is a big, big uh, conundrum with uh, with Scorpio. So yeah, exactly. Tamara, spot on with that example. It's 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 a really fascinating energy because sometimes really Scorpio is their own worst enemy. The thing they want the most, they off oftentimes, you know, Scorpio keeps it away from themselves it's it's just, it's about it it's a spiritual lesson there's a reason you incorporate incorporated that was a good you uh the word i want you incarnated not incorporated you incarnate it's getting late you incarnated with scorpio energy there's a reason for that because your soul in my opinion your soul wanted that particular mission in this lifetime so you know, blame whoever, whatever soul signed up for that, you know, before you incarnated, <laughs> you know, I mean, did I really want my moon in Scorpio? I don't know, but that's what I got. So, you know, 
absolutely. So you got to make like, you know, the best of it, really. But there are times a Scorpio energy can bring you down low. It really, it's, it's not an easy energy. People don't get it. You know, people, people don't get it. That's just my belief, Wendy. Everybody has different beliefs. I don't, you know, pretend to know all the answers. That's just my personal, my personal stance. And I don't think we sign up for, you know, certain things to happen to us. Of course not. But uh, I do think that we have some sort of spiritual contract, though, for soul growth. But there is also, I mean, it's a deep it's deep. It's Scorpio. It's a deep conversation. I mean, there's a lot of other factors that come into play, you know, with other things. That's a topic for another day, but <clears throat> yeah, I think so. Scorpio definitely, definitely can understand another Scorpio, but you know, having two Scorpios in a relationship, that wouldn't that be interesting? Anybody have that happen? Leave me in, let me know in the comments. <laughs> you ever have a relationship with another Scorpio? It's interesting when two Scorpio moons connect because that can work very well because you both can kind of really get each other on an emotional, emotional level. Um, but I don't know about two Scorpio suns. That would be, that would be very interesting. So. Okay. Yeah. So Nishta, you know, yeah. You, you guys probably have a very close relationship. You probably really understand each other. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But I think two Scorpio moons really do understand each other on a foundational, fundamental level. It's interesting when people of the same sign get together. That's just fascinating to me. Okay. Let's see. I guess it's time to pull a couple more cards before I call in a night. Um, let's see. All right. Tell me who else is still here who I have not pulled a card for card for yet. I'll go for a couple more minutes. I've already been on here two hours and 12 minutes. <laughs> Who else is still here and needs a card real fast? Okay. She, she, I'm going to pull a card for you real fast. Ariel, I don't know where she is. She, she must be in the, in the living room. I don't know. She's having a real temper tantrum. She's been gone a while. I really thought she'd come back by now, but. <laughs> All right, Shishi, I'm going to pull a card for you. Let's see what we have. Shishi, you need to explore your options. Explore your options. It's time to look at other possibilities. It's a good time to make changes. So again, we're getting these messages for a lot of the Scorpios tonight about widening your perspective, not being so like focused like this, but looking at other possibilities, choosing the new, going through a new doorway here. So look at other possibilities. It's a good time to make changes. And we also got that confirmed in the general, in the general energy reading for Scorpio as well. So interesting. Okay, Lisa, I'm going to pull a card for you. Let's see. Okay, Lisa, Lee, I'm pulling a card for you real fast. Lisa, Lee. Lisa, Lee, this is for you. The miracle of prayer. Okay. So you have Archangel Sandalphon, 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 I don't know. Thank you, Sandalphon, 
for delivering my prayers to heaven. Wow. Okay. So ask, believe, receive. That's what I'm feeling with this energy. Okay. So keep praying for what you want. Ask, believe, receive. And remember angels, you have to ask the angels to intercede on your behalf. So look up Sandal Fom, like Google him, figure out, you know, <laughs> figure out what he's all about. And, uh, Ask him to intercede in something that you're trying to manifest. That's all right, Kate. We we allow party crashers. It's fine. I try to take care of the Scorpios first, but we allow we allow party party crashers. It's okay. All right. And actually, Luna Bella, I was gonna pull a card for you, and then I think I got distracted. So, Luna Bella, I'm gonna pull a card for you. Let's see what we have. Yeah, I'm not up on every single angel. I know a few of them, but okay. All right, Luna Bella, this is for you. Luna Bella. Oh, I want one. Luna Bella. Okay, Luna Bella, you got protection. You, your loved ones, and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven. All right, so Luna Bella, that's a very nice affirming message. So if there's been any sort of worry for you about that, know that everything's going to be okay. All right, you are protected. You are safe. Everything's okay. All right, and keep affirming that for yourself as well. Okay, um, where was... Um, Where was, I'm going to try to see here. Where did that go? I don't know if Luna Bella is still here, but I was going to pull one for her earlier. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Okay. All right. I think I have it in me to do like one more, maybe. Let me see. Um, Michelle Rodriguez, are you still here? Let me know in the chat if you're still here. Michelle Rodriguez, let me know. No, I, I this is not, uh, <laughs> this is not for me tonight. This is for y'all. I'll pull one for myself after I turn off the camera because that's my Scorpio moon. <laughs> okay, Michelle Rodriguez, let me know if you're still if you're still here. Oh, I love that, Carolina. That's nice. So the whales may have a special, special message for you. I hope you see them. Okay. I don't know. I'm not hearing from Michelle Rodriguez, so I don't know if she's still here. All right. Um, let's see. All right. Um, Amada, I don't know if I said her name right. Amada, let me see. Amada, this is for you. I hope I said your name correctly, Amada. If you're still here, I don't know. Let's see, Amada. This is for Amada. Well, I want one, please. Amada, I want one, please. Oh, this one fell out. I like when that happens. All right. All right. Energy flows where my attention goes, Amada. There you go. It fell right out of the deck when I was shuffling. So it's really important for you to only focus on what you want because that's where energy flows, where your intention goes. What is your intention? That's where your energy needs to flow and go. So if something is getting blocked, if something's feeling stagnant, if something's feeling forced and pushed, that's not flow, right? So it's important to be in that energetic space of flow and being clear with your intentions. When you're in clear, blah, blah, blah. when you're clear with your intentions, your energy does tend to flow a lot better, a lot easier. So that's a good mantra for your year ahead, Amada. Okay. Energy flows where my intention goes. All right. Beautiful. That's a beautiful, beautiful card for you. All right, Scorpios, I love you guys, but I've been on here for two hours and 20 minutes and I am getting a little tired and my cupcake is calling me. 
So I'm going to go chillax with Ariel on the sofa and see what's going on out there because she's been very quiet. I got to go check on her. So I love you guys. So much fun to party with the Scorpios. Thank you so much. Uh, have a great birthday celebration if you haven't had your birthday yet. Uh, have a great week ahead. Uh, remember, we got a big full moon lunar eclipse coming up on Friday. So, <laughs> so just, just know the energy's intense the week ahead. All right. Take care. I'll see you guys soon. Love you guys. Bye-bye.